in the okay. crease there. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, well, I was all deacon. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, really, really cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, it could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. Oh, on guard, you <laughs> fucking ripper. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, maybe. Damn it. Okay. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz. Okay. I'm here if you need me, man. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I... Yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Will you listen to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission. One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien Ack. Hey. Hey. You headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Schizo's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Schizo, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? Tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? So, um... Where are we headed? We Over toward Malakwood Lake! You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel, off of uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No! Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump, you ask how high. It's not how it is. How are you holding up? Not bad. Nah, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working on the farm. All the meats and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at, uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I spent summers working the beet fields. I had a little dirt bike I flew around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. Sight, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Keith. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. I haven't heard that from there it is. Jeez. All right, spread out and secure the perimeter. I don't want any screw-ups this time. Let me know when it's clear.
Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as malicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not going to starve when they run out of us to eat. The freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Uh, head back to the bike. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien oh, said he had news. He knew her middle name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. According to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... She survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived? They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected 
freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds, people with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there, civilians? There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, no, They're too I strong. All about fast. hordes. Oh, they right. knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope, there was no time, there was no room, okay? We'd already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> you know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things are wasting my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, goddamn it, Booze Man. Where the hell did you go? Yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. I'm gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's That sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Which way? Gotcha. Jesus, boo! 
Bowser, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy fella. He's not infected. You are he's, shit. he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We can't do it right here. Here, let me. Uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, easy. It's okay. All right, just oh, Jesus, D. It's okay, just... That's it. All right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. You ready? Oh, yeah, brother. What mine? I'm ready. Man, come! Disappointed. Well, I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like, uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But, uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you had made this shit for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I guess I'd... Well, you know. You're gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. There's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, goddamn well, your guy in the spacesuit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. Those are you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on now. Oh. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Can't be gonna feed itself, okay? It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. 
No, no. I still got to work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's, it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. Nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Guys, come on, keep working, keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. That's it. Hey, thanks for the ride. We all start. There you go. Screamer! Dick, this is Tucker. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon out. I'm, uh, I'm heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided... Hell, it's like you said. I've, uh... I've mourned her long enough. It's, um... Time to say goodbye. You heading to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, Boozer, I swear. Deke and out.
We really pissed off everyone on both sides. Well, I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. I love you. Shit, more of them. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't never going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, let me, let me just go. Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out.
Addy, you there? Coming. Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Oh, I'm here. Addy, good. Good luck. Um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I, I need to I see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out. Hey, Deacon. Buzz. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Stop by any time. Got what you need? Yeah, everything I could think of. Let's go. Oh, uh, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers. I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks! I'll try to keep that in mind. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out.
Okay, how the hell did... It's not hard to put two and two together, Dee. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air. And you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Yeah. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Yeah. Now for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's uh she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie? Oh, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this... <clears throat> Might hurt. Just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. 
So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I hear that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her business. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? I think I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon. <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? Yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly you know, getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. for those black choppers. Nero. Is that true? Deke. See ya. Hey, Deke. How you been? Oh my god. Deacon, I heard you were the one who got the lights back on. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. It was all Ricky. She's the one that you need to thank. Ricky? <laughs> I could kiss her. Just don't tell Bree. Okay, then. Uh, hey, Deke, be safe. Oh, 
open the gate. It's that grifter. Yeah, I know him. Hey, Deke, how's it going? What's up? Nothing. Deke, oh, you're not gonna believe this one. I don't know, Cope. I've seen a lot of unbelievable shit these past couple of years. Try me. Hmm. You remember the anarchists? Came through a year ago, maybe more, killing anyone in their path, leaving their little piles of stones everywhere they went. Anarchists. Yeah, yeah, we had a couple of run-ins with them back in the day. Well, they're back. Two of my people stumbled into their camp while out hunting deer. Only Bender made it back. She said it was anarchists. Each of them had the symbol painted on their face. Jesus, where? Where does she see the camp? I'll mark it on your map. You find them and kill every last one of them. We got enough crazy up here dealing with rippers. Don't need anarchists moving back in. You get that right. I'll find them. It's, uh, anarchists. You found them? Good. Got another report. They hit one of our supply runs coming down from Tumalo. Now you go in there and kill them all like they were roaches hiding under your bedroll. I don't know it ain't gonna be like it was last time when they had the run of the place. Cope out. You thought you'd just ride down into our home and tear that shit up, yeah? Okay. Hey. 
Something's out there. How's this for a little energy, huh? If there's any more of them, maybe they'll get the message to stay out of our land. I hope you're right. And you just said our land. If you're not careful, you might become one of us yet. Cope out. Yeah, don't hold your breath. 